This video reviews combining two ratios. Now we're told the ratio of year 7 to year 8 is 2 to 5 and the ratio of year 8 to year 9 is 3 to 7. And the question is what fraction of these students are in year 7? So here's a way to look at it. Imagine a table. Year 7, year 8 and year 9. So for every two year 7 there are five in year 8, or for every three in year 8, there are seven in year 9. Now, to be able to compare these in total, we need the overlap to be the same. So I'm going to scale both the ratios so that the overlap, the numbers in year 8, are the same. Now, 5 and 3 both go into 15. Or, if I times the top row by 3, and the bottom row by 5, something happens. So watch this. Year 7, year 8, and year 9. So, the top row times by 3 gives me 6 and 15. The bottom row times by 5 gives me 15 and 35. I've now got a consistent number in that shared column of year 8s. So this means the ratio of year 7 to year 8 to year 9 is as follows. For every 6 year 7, there are 15 in year 8, and for every 15 in year 8, there are 35 in year 9. So the ratio of year 7 to year 8 to year 9 is 6, 15, 35. What fraction of these students are in year 7? Well, look at the ratio in total. There are 6 in year 7 out of 15 plus 35 is 50, plus 6 is 56. So the fraction of year 7s is 6 out of 56.